to the Leomatic Painting Channel do, 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 Christmas Edition. guys and this guys is sort of a project video it's sort of as Leo was saying a Christmas video so we found this thing and it's from works of ah and or it's also from masterpieces I don't know what the actual name is supposed to be but it's a basically it's a nutcracker drummer and they have several of these, so we might be getting more of these guys, depending on how this one turns out. But it's a, basically, it's a paint your own nutcracker, guys. And so inside the box, and here's one of the designs, inside the box, guys, are the following things. And there it is on your screen. I'm going to read it to you, however. There's one nutcracker drummer, wood. Twelve gemstones, white fur, one sticker sheet, one non-toxic metallic gold finish, Five non-toxic acrylic paint tubs, two artist quality paint brushes, one instruction sheet with painting guide, and a partridge in a pear tree. So we don't Guys. need the painting guide. Yeah, well, Leo's got some ideas for what he wants to do with this, so let's just crack this thing open, guys. I just want to show you what's inside. So, um... It's a nutcracker. Like, so we I have... Know, I know all about nutcrackers. I have two in the... In the, in the living room. Yeah, guys, we have some things that we've already started decorating. Uh, here are the stickers. Interestingly enough. So I guess you could use those as a guide. And of course, here we have the actual wood nutcracker himself. And this, of course, will form the jaw uh, of the nutcracker. And what and else do we have? he has got paints, yep. So two brushes, guys. We have a fine tip brush. Okay, and we have a wider tip brush, and let's put those over there. And here's here's the fur. So this is his fur for the hair, and of course here's the gemstones, guys. So we're not gonna start painting this just yet, guys. What we're gonna do is uh, get rid of the box, and guys, here's the uh, the destructions here. So um, and this is. You can have different designs. You can make these. I don't think we're gonna make any of these because it doesn't seem how it be how it's gonna go. But uh, guys, we're gonna start, get this table here set up so we don't get paint all over it, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys. So we're set up here. Okay, guys. So here are the paint colors: red, yellow, blue, uh, gold metallic, and what do we have here? We have so we have gold metallic, black, and uh, white. So there are colors. Leo's gonna move that over to him. Yeah. And obviously this is not gonna be in real time, guys, that we do this. Um, this is just going to be, and I'm not even sure what we're gonna wind up with here, to be honest with you, but, so this is not gonna be in real time, guys. We're just gonna be, you know, probably doing some, some fast editing type stuff here uh, and so on, because we're gonna have to have paint drying and so on and so forth. We're gonna let Leo do his thing here, guys. Uh, the gems have an adhesive. Uh, none of the gems actually do have adhesives. I'm sorry. The gems don't have adhesive, and um, the uh, the fur doesn't have adhesive either, guys. So to me, kind of a drawback here because now we got to find glue. Uh, we have glue here somewhere. I'll I'll locate that. But um, that is one of the so one of the things. If you guys get one of these kits, you're gonna also need to have glue. Uh, definitely an important thing to kind of keep in mind. And. Looks like Leo is. How do you wash all the paint off? Okay, we got to get. Uh, we're gonna have to get Leo something here to get the paint off. So we'll do that. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got Leo a rinse cup uh, and towel here because it looks like he's going with different sleeves on this guy. This is gonna be. This is gonna be an interesting paint job, guys. Ah! You can see <laughs> how it's coming out already. I don't know how this is going to turn out, guys. We're at the front end of this, of course. All I know for sure, guys, is that this will be a very unique representation of a Nutcracker. And I don't know. 
See this one, it doesn't look like they painted the uh, faces at all. We probably will. Just to see, what, I don't know, are you going to paint the faces? Okay. You can pull it over and try it if you want. Okay, so it's black on his hat, okay. So we have eyes, so let's give this over to Leo. Uh, so he can see there's two there's two different colored eyes. There's brown eyes and blue eyes guys Let's put that over to Leo so he, so he can see what he needs to paint and what he doesn't need to paint Okay guys, I can read this whole thing. A lot of this is usually painting so Look what's happening to the water guys Yeah, all the, all the colors are getting in the water now. Leo is super creative. He loves to paint as you can see, guys, this is one of his favorite things. Whoa, guys. He's kind of shaping up. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Whoa. Wow, guys. It looks like... So are we going for battle damage for this uh, for this Nutcracker drummer? I think so. We're going for battle damage on this, guys. <laughs> Leo loves his battle damage, guys. Gotta say, I gotta say. Let's get some color. Now, there is a software, we couldn't find it for this, but there is a software apparently for this uh, where you can, um, you can, woo, you can download software, you can design it with what colors you want to put on what pieces. Unfortunately, this one, they didn't have this one, so we weren't able to do that with him, but that is an option, guys, so um, depending on which figure you guys get, you can design the colors online. And then just once you have it online, you could have like a, a Kindle or some sort of tablet device next to you as you guys paint, which will give you a good idea of where you guys want to put each respective color. All right. Okay, so we'll put the first coat on here now, guys. And so let's see the first coat. So um, we just can color out, guys, in case you want to explore And um, so once he gets the first coat of this done, guys, all right, nice. So look at this. Look at this first coating. Yeah. So guys, we're gonna come back after that's dry and uh, and take a look at that. This is a process that I'm guessing is gonna take us somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple hours, probably give or take, to uh, to do. I'm just looking through the instructions here, guys. There is, there's no indication of how long it's gonna to take to actually dry the first coat. So, um, so this is gonna be definitely an experiment, guys. Well, it's not our percentages. This is basically just a pre experiment. Yeah, you have to come up with some really cool colors, guys. You can see that there's really like season different patterns in there. I think it's really neat. I guess I like oh, you can swirl some dust. So there's some actual legal paintings in this guy that he's done some magic stuff to it. Oh, well, it's really good. Yeah, so there's, he's he's like, basically, hey, we'll we'll see, we'll see how that will we'll okay. we gotta get all done complete with the painting before we attempt to, of course, guys, put any hair or any gems, stickers on him. So, this is the Guys, you can see Leo's getting a lot of mixing of the paper. There you go. Leo's getting a lot of mixing of paints over there too. You got a little bit of blue in with the gold and so the most important question we have, Leo. What? Are you having fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Somebody's got a headache, but a red color. Okay. Uh, guys, we're gonna take a look at this when Leo gets all done with this. We're just gonna take a good look at all at, at this whole thing and just kind of see if we can. Oh well, this is neat. I'm making a gold thing right there. Uh huh. Right off. Okay, so Leo's not actually waiting for the paint to dry. He's just putting multiple coats on. That's okay, because we, you guys. It, you know, that's the thing with these paint your own things is you guys could do whatever you want with them and um, In this for this one guys, it's uh, whatever technique Leo wants to come up with is fine I'm gonna make kind of a mask. If you do decide to do it all in one coat Then you definitely are not gonna have to put more than more than one coat So as soon as this is dry, we can actually start putting 
his other accoutrements on there. Like he says, he goes to be able to paint the wood. Back on his arsenal, he's not going to do anything on it. Um, and one of his hands. There you go. So what about his hands? Do you have any hands? Guys, get a look at that. Get a look at this guy right here, guys. Leo, hang on a second. Let's see a close up. Okay, keep going. There you go. Guys, what do you guys think about that? Leave us a comment. Let us know. I have never seen a nutcracker like this ever before, guys. I, I think it's pretty cool. It's a limited edition. Very, very, very limited, yes. Okay, guys, and we are back, and he is mostly dry, not all the way dry, and you can see he's got a big gob of paint there. <laughs> Uh, if you guys can see that or not. And so let's take a look at him. Got his drums painted together. That's kind of interesting. Um, you can see here's the drum. We got a little bit of his underside. We got mist. We actually ran out of paint. Um, when we left off, Leo was trying to make some new colors for you guys to see. And so here it is. Here's the bottom part of it. And the side side view here here's the back and you can see we he still works so we didn't paint them together or anything like that all you can see this is very very loose here guys so one thing about these things well you can see I painted that part super like loose. the lungs and here's this part here and there he is, guys. So, so we're we're gonna do is we're going. Leo's gonna put the stickers on him right now. And you can see we still got a little bit of wet paint. And then I'm gonna come through, and I'm gonna take this paintbrush, and I'm gonna paint the glue on him. And then we're gonna stick some hair to him, and we're gonna stick. We're gonna give him red cookie these eyes. beads. Are we gonna do the red eyes, or are you gonna give him the regular eyes? The red eyes. Okay. So we might be putting red eyes on him, guys, and we're gonna make it a devil nutcracker, I guess, or something. But nope. <laughs> so um, devil cracker. Devil cracker. Yep. Look at him. Okay, let's take a look at him, guys. So there he is with his eyes. Okay, that's an interesting shade of purple there, guys. Like purple brownish almost. Let's have a look here at what what do you got there? Let's take a look. There's red inside of him. The paint does not like the stickers to be stuck to it, clearly. You can see that sticker just fell right in there. Okay, what uh, what else you want to put on him? Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, there you can see he's got a couple he got a couple shoulder pad things. Okay, guys, so I'm going to take this glue and I'm going to just put the glue on the newspaper here. Okay, guys, so um, this glue we're tossing because uh, the cap is ruined on this. So, all right. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this paintbrush and I'm going to paint glue on certain parts of him. So, where um, I'm doing a star. Okay. See? Okay, that one I think we should pull it off. Okay, let's see. Okay, the star is hot. You guys are me. Okay, so. And he even has the logo of Happy Holidays. All right. Okay, guys, so uh, Leo's got most of the stickers on him and now. And finishing touches. Whoa, let's check. The, wow. That's really cool. Okay. Well. Oh, interesting. So Leo has found a way to incorporate the sticker, and he's made a ventriloquist. <laughs> that is cool, dude. Let's see it. Okay, guys. So here it is. He's got a ventriloquist dummy. On. In his hands, but is haunted by the soul of him. Wow, that is actually a really neat idea, guys. Okay. Okay, all right. So you got some voodoo stuff going on with this guy here. So, okay, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to take some of this paint. We're going to paint this part right here, okay? With glue. Oh, getting the now I'm thinking some red gem gems on the ventriloquist dummy's eyes that he possessed mm -hmm. by soul. Okay. okay. Here's the red. So eye. guys, so there's this and it's actually red gems. We're gonna take this and yeah. it's not lending itself super easily to this. And okay, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna try to get this on him. We're gonna call it uh, we gotta wait about 60 seconds for that. So while we're waiting for that, guys, let's do this. Let's paint let's get the Control kiss dummy and paint its eyes so I can put these red gems on it and make it more haunted. And let's throw some of this glue on the back of his head so we can add the uh, we can add the rest of this his hair. And this is not really an ideal way of do ideal way of doing this, of course, guys. But oh well. Okay, so he's a control kiss dummy. He looks like nothing. We're gonna make him into. It's almost going to be like a cape. Yeah! His name is King Hauntalot. And I think we're probably going to trim some of this off. So that he lo it looks more like a looks more like a cape. But, okay guys, and from here, let's see, I could, think we need to go, put... Could you, go, could you go to the eyes so I can put these on? What are we putting on? Oh, you want to put them on the eyes? Okay. Yeah, because... Okay guys, no, so, not, not on the actual... Oh, okay. On the sticker's eyes. Because then we can put okay. these gems like he's haunted. Okay. Nobody's used him in a while, and he's apparently haunted. Oops, he up. <laughs> okay, alright, there's one. Oh, this is gonna look cool, I think. First, it could look just weird. Okay, alright. Oh, guys! Should we give him some, some googly eyes too? Some blue, blue eyes or something? Mm hmm. Okay. So let's, let's throw, okay, let's throw a little bit on here. Yeah, cause I don't really like these brown eyes either, dude. Okay. Ah! Uh oh. You gra gra grab, grab these other ones here. I'm in a sticky situation. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna drop them on here. Okay, guys, so here it is. Uh, we're at the end of the kit. I think the kit is a really cool idea, guys. Here it is. The drummer with a ventriloquist dummy who's haunted, he's got some red sparkly eyes. 
the actual ventriloquist himself um, has some blue sparkly eyes. And guys, he's uh, not a ventriloquist dummy. He's the he's the man. Okay, so the man has that, and you can see um, we've got some nobody knows things his on his name paintings. yet. So guys, I think this is a cool kit, guys. I don't think it's a great kit by any means, but it is a pretty neat one. So there it is, guys, and I look forward to this guy in our decoration video as well, guys, which should be coming up shortly. Ah. Hopefully, guys, you did uh, you did enjoy this video. We appreciate you guys coming by, taking a look, checking things out with us, as always. Of course, if you did, guys, we would certainly love the old thumbs up from you guys. If you guys uh, have not done so yet already, please hit the red subscribe button and hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you guys would like to be notified of the latest and greatest content as it becomes available, guys, on the channel. Or simply follow us on our Twitter feed, which has the same information in live and direct time, guys. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know if you've done one of these. If you guys have uh, seen any of these around, this one is kind of fun to do, guys. We had a lot of fun with it. I don't think it's a, a great figure or anything like that, but it was... It was a lot of fun to do this, guys. Uh, Leo definitely got a kick out of it. Got found himself some new colors. Got some painting. Leo loves to paint, guys. Let us know if you like to paint too, guys. Leave us a comment. Let us know. Anyway, guys, let's go wrap it up for us this time. We will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.